so all we have to do now is just NQ our styles and scripts so all I'm going to do is just go to includes classes and then I'm going to go to the assets because that's where we have included all of our styles and scripts and then I'm going to add an action over here which is this uh, which will be NQ block assets okay so how do we actually <clears throat> now the question comes that how do we actually NQ the styles and scripts for the Gutenberg blocks because I can understand I can do N WP NQ scripts uh, you know for registering the styles and scripts on the front end and I can also do the admin NQ scripts and I can also use the hook called admin NQ scripts to include my styles and scripts for the uh, backend but that's not what we want what we really want is that I want those styles to be only applied to the editor and not like everywhere right so we have a couple of options we have available we have two hooks that are there uh, the first one is NQ block editor assets and this can be used to NQ block scripts and styles in admin editor only and the second one is NQ block assets and if you use this hook to NQ your styles and scripts then they're going to be included uh, in both editor as well as on the front end and that's what we really want right we want to be able to use the same style both in front end as well as back end but this may not necessarily be true for the scripts why because if you are registering the block the block registration related JavaScript is only required for the editor It's not really required on the front end right so there's no reason for us to unnecessarily load that JavaScript on the front end so it, so it completely depends on your needs in our case for now the blog that we are going to develop we're not going to need the JavaScript on the front end but if you did then you would probably need to include that so how can we ensure that the JavaScript is not included in the front end well there's a function available uh, in WordPress which is called is admin so we can use this function to check whether or not we are in the admin right so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna use the NQ block assets okay I'm gonna say add action and then oops and then this hook and then this because uh, class and then we'll add a custom function called NQ NQ editor assets yep okay great now let's create this function function give it public NQ editor assets okay so this function is going to be called uh, both for the uh, for including the styles and scripts for editor as well as on the front end right now let's go ahead and run build and see what happens since we have all the packages installed so I'm gonna do npm run build npm run prod because our build is in the prod and see what happens okay so if you take a look it's actually generated the assets.php if you double click and see what is inside of this assets right so if you notice it has added all of the dependency that we really need uh, you know we have the editor for editor we have the polyfill for blocks we have the polyfill we also have the version number which is pretty useful because then I can use those version number uh, during development to ensure that I have always I always have the non cached version so whenever you know it updates I will have the non cached version of the uh, file the scripts and styles yeah non-cache version of the uh, script yep so from all of this what we're really interested in is the is the editor.js so this is the dependency that we're interested in and what really happens is the moment you import the functions or the methods from the packages it's going to automatically include that as a dependency for example this one right so you will see that in some time that it does that but just letting you know that it's going to automatically include the dependency and then we can directly use them right awesome so what we're gonna do now is basically
have the path for this so we'll go to a function which is nq editor assets we'll create a variable and we'll name it as assets asset config file equals sprintf and then I'm going to use percentage s and then slash assets dot php and then I'm going to need the path up until my build so we already created a constant for this and this is called the aquila build path this one right so this is going to give me the path up until my builds directory which is this and then I'm just saying that include the you know I'm just adding the path to it like suffixing it with the assets.php so I get the asset config file inside of this and we are also going to check if whether or not the file exists so I'm gonna check if the file exists which is the assets config file then if it doesn't exist sorry then we can just return okay and if it does exi exist which means that the f code down below is going to get executed I'm going to say editor config equals require once and then we're just going to include the assets config file we're just going to require that okay and then since we have the entire file inside of this asset config we're just going to check whether we have the dependency available or not so if empty assets config which one this part right here this key so I'm going to check that and if it is empty then return otherwise continue further so let's say it continues further then I'm going to get the editor asset so I'll say editor asset equals asset config and then JS editor <coughs> okay and then I'm going to have the JS dependencies dependencies equals if it's not empty the editor asset dependency which means if this part is not empty so I'll say editor asset dependency if it's not empty then should be equal to editor asset dependencies okay I'm just gonna make it a little bit small so we can I can type otherwise it should be an empty array yep great and similarly then I can have version number so I'm just going to do a copy paste of this and then I'm just going to say version and if it's not empty version so if you notice you have a version available here if it is not empty then it's going to set the value equals to this otherwise the version can very well be just file time file m time asset config file okay so if we have the version available which it would have already generated uh, at the time of development as well as at the time of build which it would have already generated we can use that otherwise we can use the file and time to get the uh, latest changed version of the file okay great then all we have to do is just in NQ the script so I'm gonna say over here theme Gutenberg block JavaScript and like we discussed if it's admin that means include these scripts only in the editor in the admin side of things WNQ script and then this is going to need the Aquila block JS which is the handle and then is going to need the path Aquila build JS URI and then block dot JS if you notice 
we have the block.js here, right? Yep, so we are going to use that. And then we're going to also add the JS dependencies, which will be like automatically generated, so we don't have to do that manually, manual stuff. This is brilliant, and I love that. And then we also set the next parameter to true. Uh, sorry, uh, the next parameter will be version, and then finally true. Okay, great. So you've got the <coughs> include this to include the CSS. I'm not going to type it. I'll just paste the code over here, and then I'll explain it to you. So over here, I just pasted the CSS dependencies, which will be WP block library because we don't get CSS dependencies through that extra extractor plugin, and then. We are going to be using the WP block library as a dependency, and then finally just use this function called WP NQ style, uh, which is going to use the handle, then path up until the block.css, which we created. So here it is uh, this one block.css, right? And then uh, CSS dependencies, which is this array, and then file m time uh, for the block.css, and then include it in all. Okay, great. So we've got that included. All you want to check whether it's functioning properly or not. So how do we do that? I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my editor, and ideally I should see both the files. So I'm just going to add the s over here at the end, and let's search it. So blocks.js. Here it is. There you go. Perfect. And then blocks.css. Do we have that? Yep, perfect. Great. And let's check it in the front end as well. Uh, so I'm going to go to the front end. So I'm going to go to the front end. Let's go to any of the posts. And let's check the page source. Blocks.css, perfect. I have that. But can you guess whether we'll, we will have the block.js or not? Blocks.js. You can see we don't have that. Why? Because we said that only include the JavaScript in the admin side of things, which is in the editor. Okay. Uh, just in case if you need the JavaScript in the front end, you can do that. There is one more thing I want to share with you that there could be a possibility that there would be some style that you don't want to include in the front end. It will be only editor related style. For example, when you are building custom blocks and you have to over, you are using the core blocks and you need to override their styles, etc. You may not need to, uh, you know, include that in the front end because you probably targeting the uh, core blocks in the editor only. So in that scenario, either. So in that scenario, again, uh, you know, you can use the conditional base like is admin or if you remember, we had added this add theme support editor styles, right? You can see this one block. Uh, you can see this one add theme support editor style and we had added the add editor style over here and we had included the editor editor.css this would mean this would only be included in the backend which means if there are any backend related styles then all you can do is just put that inside of the editor.css which is this file right and if you want to see that's actually true you can go to the front end so this is my front end i'm going to search for editor. So this is my front end, you see, it's not there, right? But if I check in the editor, and if I check the page source, it's, it's there, yeah? Okay, great, perfect. So, pretty much it. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, please do give star to my repository the repository is aquila so like all the beautiful 63 people have given uh, so thank you so much all of you and please do star my repository and follow me on github and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already okay so i'm going to see in the next video and we are going to register a custom block category before we start building the blocks so we have set our ground up and we'll start building stuff now awesome I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.